Hi, Stefan from CR Kennedy again. This particular clip is going to be longer than the past ones that we've done, and we're going to look into the 2D system in a little bit of detail. In today's modern world, uh, GPS rules. Most job sites require the GPS uh, or some 3D at some level. Um, where in actual fact, once that job's finished and GPS is no longer required, the 2D system will do all things that are associated with operations of an excavator. So at the end of the day, an excavator will trim, whether it's loading trucks um, or whatever the process it is it's doing, in some form or another, it will trim into a level and your 2D system can do that. How it does this is your excavator has sensors on every moving part of the excavator, your bucket and your tilt bucket. So we calibrate and measure each individual implement and then the geometry and the calibration comes into the panel and the panel can then calculate where the excavator is relative to itself as long as it has a reference surface. By zeroing out the system, we're now on grade. So we've got zeros everywhere. Um, if I'm going to introduce an offset, I will dial in that there. So now you can see the bucket's raised, we've got a 100 millimeter offset. So if I just sneak around here, grab the bucket, bring it in a shot, lower it down, it will come to grade in approximately 100 millimeters. And there we have it. So that's 100 millimeters of movement. So that's a uh, an offset underneath the reference surface, which was here. The rest of the system can be used for your slopes. So we have a, a, a Y slope and an X slope. So the Y slope is represented here in the red, and the X slope is represented there in the blue. Traditionally, you're gonna use 2%, 3%, small percentage increments um, for your selection. That can be tricky to understand which way you're actually falling. So you have your Y slope and your X slope. So if I give the Y slope a significant amount, it will make it clear as to which way things are changing. So you can see now we have a significant slope entered into it, 27%, and it's getting deeper as it comes in towards the cab. Um, like I said, traditionally you're not gonna do that, you're gonna use small s slope, but by giving it a great deal, you then understand which way it falls. Equally, you can use it on the other slope too. So if we give that an absolute bootful as well. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Now we've got 27% on the other slope. So you can see that we've got a slope that's getting deeper as it comes in towards the excavator, and then it's also tilting to the side, a dual slope. That's represented here by the two slopes there in the, in the um, orientation box. That orientation box simply means where the excavator is relative to. So if it's picked up and moved, you'll see that we'll swing around and our slopes will change. That's a very basic uh, run through on the 2D system. So that can be used in everyday use um, no matter what the task at hand is. So you pay a lot of money for your system, you might as well get the most out of it and use your 2D system. Uh, and that's how the software uh, runs the Icon 2D in its 3D panel.